apparently, and a man to watch out for as we join John Helm in the first half. Well, the four points clear at the top of the Spanish First Division. Juventus are fourth in the Italian league at the moment. Don't look as though they're going to win their domestic competition for once. Julio Salinas with a good layoff, full out drop, and uh, the shot! Leaving on the top of the crossbar. A really fine effort from Laudrup. Takami, I don't think, got a touch, but Laudrup showing the confidence to take the goalkeeper on. It's a fine left footed strike by the day, and Takami, well off his line, the ball over the top. It's a real good pace about this game, good fluid football, some nice touches. Barcelona bring it away once more with Pagiristan. On his left touch line, sweeping move forward, which Kerman has joined. Well, Kerman been out for five months this season. And more, just clipping it to his left to the Giri stand. He gets it back again, rather fortuitously. Now, uh, that's going to be a free kick. on both the cheer. And for Koeman, way off the outside of the upright. Nobody in the world game strikes a ball as violently as Ronald Koeman. And look from this angle and this distance, the pace on it was awesome. A really clean strike by the Dutchman, he beat to Kelly, and he's hit the hit up right. The in swinger for Juventus and Sullivan coming in for it, but uh, not big enough to get there. And it's Koeman's head that knocks it to safety for the moment. Oh, and the back pass is going to let Juventus in. Juventus take the lead in dramatic circumstances. A horrid mistake in Barcelona's defence. As soon as he had to come from his line, he didn't get the touch. A really wretched back pass, it gave Zubizarreta no hope at all, he got his fingers to the ball, but Casiraghi was there to pounce for Juventus, and it's 1-0 to the Italians. And the Barcelona crowd is absolutely stunned. Barcelona 0, Juventus 1, the first blood to the Italians, but it's all down to that wretched back pass, and a simpler goal you will not see in any competition. Real disaster for Barcelona, and away goal, of course, so important in European competitions. And of course, Count Cobble and Juventus have got that priceless score. And then Barcelona move breaking down. Skilacci making tracks towards goal, oh brilliantly done by Scalacci and the shot across the face of Zubizarreta's goal. Well Tito Scalacci hasn't been scoring goals in the domestic season back in Italy, he really has struggled, he's got only four this season. He's not scored a league goal since November, but he's still there, took him into an excellent position. He worked his way between three Barcelona defenders got over the outstretched leg of another and slammed the shot across the face of Zubizarreta's goal. Now Laudrup. Good ball from Laudrup and although Julier Cesar got his head to it, it was only to deflect it to Stoichkov. On the left foot. Cleverly done. Beautiful chip through. And Bukir is fine. Brought down. Is this a penalty? He's given a helping hand by Julio Cesar. Gary Stein's disappointment reflects the referee's decision. It's a lovely ball clipped in though by the Bulgarian. So we'll have our 45 minutes and Juventus still lead by a goal to nil. Barcelona training, there will be a bit of time to be added on here in a couple of stoppages. That's Amor's ball. Still they come looking for the sequel. Barcelona and that goes down in the penalty area again it's Stoichkov and again the referee says well thank you very much that's not a penalty and he gets a withering look from the referee too his reputation goes before him and uh, Stoichkov flinging himself full length well, 
eyes on the referee. Everybody will uh, blow for half time as it comes back inside the area here for Baggio and a fine save by Zubizarreta, otherwise it might well have been two. The Barcelona captain saved his side then as Baggio got inside the penalty area, the first time we've seen him in such an advanced position. And indeed the players took away back to their dressing rooms with Barcelona trailing by that one goal to nil, scored for Juventus in the first 12 minutes. And the Italians must be feeling very happy with life at the moment. Half time, Barcelona nil, Juventus one. Spilacci goes once more, this time through the middle, threading a nice little ball through. Danger here, a chance of a second, Baggio! The save by Susan Retter and Roberto Baggio in with a great chance there, adding to the eight European goals he has scored this season. Barcelona's turn to come again, but again their passing game is letting them down. The ball forward have played into the path of Kassiragi, the scorer of the one goal in the match so far. It's in the clip the heel of Nando on the way out. That was a good chance though for Baggio. He didn't strike it as well as he would have liked, and it was fended away by Zubizarreta. And he just come back after a five month absence. Salinas laying it off, and this is more promising, but once again the defence snapping shots, you say the bundle over, chances now though, it's a good ball, and here's the best chance, the equaliser is there, and Spongebob rolls high in the Juventus penalty box, and the Bulgarian striker, who has had such a big season, has brought Barcelona level again, Lovely play down the left by Laudra. The header is a firm one from Stoichkov and it buries itself in the net just beneath the Juventus crossbar. Stoichkov's fifth European goal of this campaign. You've got to say that Juventus still have the upper hand at one more. Yeah. Swings another strange ball over. Oh, nice to retain possession Juventus though. Here's Kassiragi, and uh, they'll hit a blinding shot, which seems to have to hand as well. What a pace there is for this game now. Oh, it's a lovely bit of play. Stoich got in the area, and scores a superb goal. Risco Stoichkov takes the applause the Barca fans they were a goal down five minutes ago they're a goal up now and the Bulgarian has registered both of them he skipped between the defenders kept his footing well slipped it past Tarconi and Stoichko's second goal of the night gives Barcelona renewed hope must be wary of these lightning breaks out of possession for Barcelona and Eusebio, now for Leo Salinas again he's got past Cesar cuts it back, here's a great chance for Eusebio, now the overhead kick, it's not right this time and Tacconi is living with his defence and why he pushes Julio Salinas in the back I do not know he got around Julio Cesar beautifully there and you'd have backed Eusebio in that position and more also in there to try and finish it off. The bicycle kick is going to come once more with Koikic here. He's good on the ball and he gets it back here from Salinas and tries it. What a goal! That's a fantastic finish from Koikic here. He played the 1 2. Tacconi left helpless. promised to be a very good night for Barcelona at half time when they were one down is now turning into a splendid night laid off back by Salinas clipped with the left foot and Goikachia takes Barcelona 3-1 ahead he caught everybody napping no way to take the start into a 3-1 lead Barcelona 
have beaten Juventus by three goals to one, overcoming the half-time deficit. And the Kassiravi has given the Juventus the lead after a really reckless piece of defending by the Spanish cup holders. Barcelona came back.